DC News number 122 is up next. We're going to talk about multiversity, where it's at, what's taking it so long, when's it going to show up, and will it bring back the multiverse in the DC comic universe? We, we don't know any of that. Probably not. But yes, will. <laughs> we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about Watchmen, before Watchmen, is going to be expanded with yet one more title. A whole two issues worth of time. I want to know more after Watchmen. Coming up next, and we're going to finish it up with a brand new Teen Titans book. All that and more coming right up. Here at Alternate Reality, all new comics are 15% off every day for everybody. That's right, all my new comics are always 15% off every day for everyone. All you got to do is stop in here and pick it up anytime during the seven days that that book is new. So be sure to stop off here at Alternate Reality and pick up this week's new comics for 15% off all the time, only at Alternate Reality. It's time again for DC News, brought to you by Comic Book Man and Bo. Don't fight it, I promise it'll all be over soon. We suffer with the burden of knowledge. Why should we suffer alone in silence? <laughs> DC Comic Book News, episode 122, Chocolate Uniform. Hey there, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... DC News, boys and girls. Awesome. It is, DC News. DC News, which is coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all my new comics are always 15% off every day for everyone, especially on my DC Comics. And Multiversity, when it comes out, it will be 15% off here at Alternate Reality. All eight issues. All eight, eight issues? They'll all be 15% off really? for the whole week if they first come out. Bo? Yes? When the hell will that be? Grant Morrison's Multiversity was announced in 2009. Yes. It was 20, to, 2012 now. It was supposed to Rapidly approaching 2013. <laughs> DC, finally, actually the Grant Morrison con in Las Vegas, they gave, they finally gave him a release date. And yes, Morrison had a con all to himself, and they, they did songs, and they danced, and I think he smoked pot. It was a whole bunch of weird stuff. But it'll finally debut in late, late 2013. Now, the first issue... Late 2013? A year from well, now? Wait for it. The first issue will be drawn by all four Superman. Gold bricks? Frank Quitely is called Pax Americana, and it actually involves the Charlton Heroes. Now, Quitely is just about done with his issue, but the reason why you're waiting till late 2013 is because Morrison kept rewriting the damn things, and the other artists haven't even started drawing the damn thing yet. So I'm assuming in November. He wants it to be just right. November, I'm thinking. November. Huh? And, and the pages that uh, people have seen from Pax Americana, they really damn nice looking pages. I will bet you five bucks it will be out next summer. It'll be a summer event. It's a good um, thing he doesn't want a restaurant. Unless they draw really quick. Well, they haven't, I mean, they haven't, I mean, I know Cameron Stewart's drawing one issue and a couple other people are doing them. And uh, you will see the question in the first issue. This is a big what if series, right? It's basically visiting all the DC pantheons you've got. There are no DC pantheons. Sure there are. New 52. To They're me. in Grant Morrison's head. He oh, still, yeah. he came up with the multiversity and yeah. the multiverse. And the, this thing started, remember, remember 52? Remember the first 52? They were talking about the birth of the multiverse. And you had like Greg Rucka and, and Mark Wade working on them. The plan when they announced all this was all those guys were supposed to write the thing. But then they couldn't do 52 it. 52 Earths. And 52 Earths. And so Morrison said, I like this idea and I'm going to stick with and I'm going to keep working on it. Well, I'm glad he is because DC, I think, flushed the whole concept down the toilet. They're out there. <laughs> sure they are. They're just hiding under shadows. Sure They're they are. Okay, our next story up involves yet another multiverse in the DC universe. The Watchmen universe in the DC universe. How's it selling? Oh, it's it it's over? selling blandly. <laughs> blandly? Blandly. Well, you know, it's it came out of the box with about half of the world hating it and about half of the world intrigued by it. Half of the world that hates it still hates it. The ones that are intrigued by it aren't intrigued anymore because they've seen it. Not that there's anything bad about them, but, you know, once a book's out, it's out. Okay, and the bloom is off the rose, as they say. So you're saying this 35-issue limited series is a failure? <laughs> no, it's not a failure. It's, what is I it? just don't think it's worth the hype that everybody's been put through for it. So you're saying that you, you're saying that this 35-issue thing didn't work, and that the mm, last thing that I'm the not, last no, I mean, it's not no that would that would that would suggest that it's a failure. No, I don't believe that it's a failure. And that the last thing they should do is add more to this already announced 35-issue limited series. Well, you know, why not? I mean, what the heck? I mean, if you're going to hoard it out, go all, go full bore. Why would you be happy with this news? <laughs> J. Michael Swazinski, Spaceman, said, well, are we going to do a two-issue before Watchmen? Two-issue. Two, two issues. issues. Well, two issues because... The, because the end just, he's just not that interesting a character. <laughs> a whole lot didn't happen to these guys. Well, you know, and the, the problem with that, I mean, the deal was this was, 
they said these 35 books are going to come out, and all the creators got their jobs, and they were all working on the stuff, yeah. and they were always talking about, you know, we could explain more about Moloch because everyone sort of tells stuff about him secondhand, and Straczynski turned in his stuff way before everybody else did, and so Dan and I said, you want to do it? He said, yeah, what the hell. So. Okay, so Moloch, two issue, two, two issues. issues. One ship, I think coming. the first issue ships November the 7th, and the last issue ships like the week before Christmas. That will make a very thin trade paperback. <laughs> They could put Think it with all the extras. They could put it with the Black Freighter thing. That will, that will make a very thin trade paper pick. Okay, uh, last story up involves the Teen Titans. If you've been getting a Teen Titans book in the New Fifty Two, you'll be thrilled to know that DC is adding a sister book. Yes, it issue, but you have to wait till after issue twenty five. Oh, can you so wait? you have another year with Scott Lobdell? He said, "Yeah, we're going to do another sick, we're gonna do another series after twenty five, and this team will be led by Raven." Tell me, let me guess, Tween Titans. No, maybe just Titans. Just plain Titans, because they, do have, a, they do have a copyright for just plain Titans. That's why you keep seeing a Titans book, and a Teen Titans, Teen Titans book, book, and a new Teen Titans book, because those are the things that DC has copyrighted, so that's what they so, keep so, bringing back up. I so they're calling them teens, so maybe they won't be teens, maybe they'll be older versions of the teens that are around right now. Because, I mean, isn't... Because that never gets old. Yeah, it never gets old. Never gets old. I mean, come on, Scott Lobdell's the guy who basically said Tim Drake did exist in the Zero Issue. 20-something it's the It's the new 52. Yeah, so it's Maybe like, he doesn't. It's like Red Robin was never Tim Drake. Tim Drake never existed. Okay, well, apparently Wally West doesn't exist in the new 52 but Wally, either. Some, a relative of Wally West popped up in Flash Zero, though. But not Wally but West. But not Wally. Uh, my edit, I've, I've been thinking for a while now that Wally West is in DC's back pocket to get the old universe back at some point if they need to. He's one of the few few major characters that we haven't seen in the New 52, and they don't seem to have any interest in bringing, well, every, in bringing well, back in any way, shape, or form. Well, every time they every time at conventions they ask about Wally West, they always try to change the subject. Yeah. The guys who, the creative team on The Flash said that they were more than willing to use Wally West, but they were told by DC Editorial, you can't use him now. Verboten. Because but, they but probably, you, they're probably going to do something with him. Right, but you introduced a West family member in Flash Zero. Yeah. So. Well, you can introduce as Daniel many, West. Yeah, you can, can introduce as many West yeah. family members as you want, but Wally West, the guy who was the Flash for like 15 years while Barry Allen was dead yes. back in the 80s and the 90s and early 2000s, throughout the 2000s. Yeah, that guy doesn't exist. That guy doesn't exist yet. yet. <laughs> Because there's a lot of DC characters that haven't made their debut in the New 52. That's what the National Comics thing is. We're going to do a yeah. one-shot. We're going to use all these characters. You, you go, oh, I wonder what happened to them. And in the case of some of those National Comics, they're going, oh, that's what happened to them? We don't well, really and, care. Until I see them do a book with Wally West, I'm going to assume that DC's keeping him in their back pocket in order to make everything back the way it was, or at the very least, bring back the old 52. I think Pandora, the old DC. I think Pandora's the person to bring it. You always do this stuff with a flash. You always do this stuff with a flash. And that's it. We're done. We're finished. We're out of here. Like a flash, we're done. Not really, but... Go to the website. With a flash, out, we're done. Check out all, this, all the news that Bo sends me that I post up there about DC Comics. Bo? Yeah? In a flash! Tell them. Sarah! Does the word oblivious mean anything to you? www.myalternatereality.com Next one. So go to the store's website, check out all the news that this man sends me on post up. Until next time, this is me, Comic Book Man. And this is Wally West. No, it's not. It's it is so! It's I've been here all the time! Bo, 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 bo. Bye! The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.